Good evening. A central Kentucky community is in shock today after news broke that low-level, naturally occurring radioactive waste has been illegally dumped in an Estill County landfill. The waste came from a mine out of state, and many people in Estill County want to know if it poses any danger to them. Tonight, the State Department of Public Health tried to calm fears. Monique Blair joins us live in the newsroom with more, first on Fox. Well, Marvin and Erica, roughly 16 to 1800 tons of naturally occurring radioactive material was dumped into the Blue Ridge landfill in Estill County last year between July and November. The Division of Waste Management opened an investigation earlier this month after a contractor tipped them off that the material may have been deposited in the landfill. The material came from West Virginia, but depositing it in Kentucky is illegal. For one, Kentucky limits where radioactive material can come from. West Virginia is not one of those places. Also, the material that was buried was more than 300 times the legal limit for radioactivity to be buried at a solid waste landfill. We we spoke to the Kentucky Department of Public Health who says because the material has been buried, their preliminary investigation shows there is not an ongoing risk to people in the area. I think what's important for folks to know and I understand that people are concerned about it um, is that preliminary investigation of our radiation health branch employees indicates that there is no um, radiation level above what we would normally expect in the background at the surface of this landfill. Now the department says they are going to further investigate, however, to see if there was any exposure to employees or people in the area at the time the material was deposited. In the newsroom, Monique Blair for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Now, folks in Estill County say they still have a lot of questions after learning about that radioactive material at the landfill. The landfill sits off the road, but it's right across the highway from the middle and high schools. It's also across from some homes. Gene Reese says he and his wife have lived there for years, but they say after hearing about the radioactive material, they've already tried to talk about moving. Well, we'll probably sell out and move, try to. But I don't know who would buy the place having something like this next door to them. The landfill joins uh, right behind this property. So it, finding a buyer would be very difficult, I think. The county's emergency management director says the state assured him that it's not a public health threat to the community. Many folks in the area say they're not yet convinced.